Hey guys, it's me Noah from Data Soul and I'm excited to share with you a new kit. It's a dress embroidery kit. How cool is that? In the kit, you will get everything you need to stitch this project. First, you get a reusable kit bag, a dress, which you can pick up the size you want when you're ordering the kit, an embroidery hoop, embroidery needle, cotton threads, washable fuzzy ball sheet, two pins, instructions, and stitch guide. Start by transfer the pattern to the washable sheet. You can watch my tutorial on how to transfer pattern to fabric. Link is here on the cards and in the description box. Then place the washable sheet on the dress and secure with the pins you received in the kit. Place the hoop on and you are ready to start stitching. I started with a big flower in the middle and I used satin stitch to fill the flower. My trick to fill flowers with satin stitch is to divide the petals to sections and stitch each section separately. In each section, I fill the petal not from one side to the other, but by adding stitches from the middle and the sides simultaneously. Then I added lots of French knots on the top of the flower. I recommend using 2-3 to three strings thread for that. You can watch my full tutorial on French knots. The link is in the description box and in the cards. Now I added the leaves branches with backstitch. This is a super easy stitch, perfect for beginners. You just start with a simple stitch and then on every new stitch you take space ahead from the wrong side of the fabric. Push up with your needle and then go back down by taking a step backwards to where the last stitch ended. If you are new to this, you should watch my tutorial on backstitch. The link is in the cards and description box. For the other leaves I also used backstitch, that way you can stitch all the leaves quick and easy. Now I want to show you the little cute butterflies. I used Lazy Daisy and Running Stitch for that. I made a special video tutorial for the butterflies, so if you need a detailed explanation, you should watch it. You know where the links are and please subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all my videos. There is a new video every week, so you don't want to miss out. These small flowers are similar to the first flower I embroidered, but with these tiny flowers, I like to use two to three strings thread to fill out the shape better, since the curves are much more smaller. Later, add three French knots at the top and a small stitch at the bottom for the stem. I also made the branches with backstitch. I used the length of the parts of the design to guide the length of each stitch. I also used Lazy Daisy stitches to embroider these flowers and then added a French knot in the middle. So after I finished embroider the whole design, I can now show you the magic part of the show. I cut around the excess fuzzable sheet and then just hold it under running water, just cold water will be fine, you don't need hot water. Rub it a little with your hands and wherever you can still see a bit of the drawing beneath the thread, use a toothpick to gently scrape the stubborn sheet. Now give it a good squeeze to get all the water out and just hang and wait for it to dry. I know, I can't wait either. Thank you so much for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. You are very welcome to visit my Etsy shop to get yourself an embroidery kit and fall in love with this craft. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!